Hey guys, it's Natalia and welcome back to Fashion Design 101. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to pattern out flared pants. I asked you guys on my Instagram to send in a bunch of requests and this was one of them so I thought I would go ahead and share it with you guys. For this specific tutorial, I'm going to be using a pants pattern block which I already have a video on how to make your own. I will link it down below for you guys if you want to check that out and make that before you obviously make this. Unless you already have one, then you're good to go. But this should be a really simple, easy thing for you to do. I think flared pants A are super trendy but also just super fun and super flattering I feel like and just like a really easy thing to actually pattern out once you get into it. So let's just get started. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this with a half size pattern block. I don't want to waste a bunch of paper and do it full size, so just made a little mock-up of a smaller one so I can show you guys in more detail. So it's going to be the same for the front and the back, so I'm just going to show you on one piece and then you would be able to do it on all of them. So you're going to have your basic block which has, you know, your dart, it's basically like a straight leg and you have marked your knee points, your crotch, and your hip. My knee point on this one looks a little bit too high, but we're just going to go with it. Don't mind, it's not perfectly to scale or anything. So I'm going to start by tracing out out this pattern block on a piece of paper so that I can then cut it out and be sure to also mark all of your lines up here so you can go ahead and make those on your little pattern and then obviously you would want to mark out your dart as well though it's not super important for this one just because this is a mock-up but if you were actually doing this you'd want to actually go ahead and mark everything properly so now that we have our piece traced out we're gonna go ahead and cut it out so now that we have this piece out, we can start actually flaring these pants. So if you've ever seen flared pants, they usually flare from the knee down. So what we're gonna do is actually cut off this whole part. And so exactly where the knees are, you're gonna cut into that line because this part of the pant is gonna stay the same as far as the measurements and just the width of it and everything. And this is what's gonna change. So we're gonna move this up here for a hot minute. And now with this piece, you can kind of choose how flared you want it to be. We're gonna be using the cut and slash method, which is what is used to create more volume in a piece. So that essentially means that you would be cutting into this piece. So I'm going to cut roughly in the middle of it, but you don't want to cut all the way through. You want to leave a little bit of space at the top so that it's still connected. And essentially you'd be able to spread this out and then this would be your new piece with all this extra volume. But to make it more even, you usually cut into it a couple other times. So I'm going to do two more in the middle of these cuts. So then you would be able to spread it out even more like that. So now let's put this on paper, tape it down, and create our new pattern piece. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this down here so that it stays in place. And now you're going to want to line up this piece to where it originally kind of went, but you can go ahead and kind of spread these out. Usually you want to make sure that you measure it out and it's like super even and everything, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to necessarily go into that. Obviously you will see that this creates a curve once you start spreading these out. So it's going to have like a bit of a gap in a sense between the two pieces. That is totally fine. You just want to make sure that the corners do match. So I'm going to go ahead and tape that side down and then I'm going to tape this side and I'm going to spread these out a little Little bit and tape those down as well. So I'm going to go ahead and outline this to show you guys what the pattern piece would look like if you finalize it. So you're going to go ahead and trace over this normally. And then down here you can choose to either have this be seamless and be one piece or you can actually have a seam right here and make these two separate pieces. That's kind of a design detail so you can kind of choose. But if you were to create a one piece then you kind of just smooth out that corner and then follow the line here and then kind of curve this out and follow this line up. And then again curve that right there just to smooth out the line. So now you can cut this out. And now you can retrace your pattern just to have a clean piece that doesn't have any tape or extra slashing and things on it, just for a cleaner look. So this is what your final piece would look like. Then you'd of course add seam allowance and all the things, but this would create your flare pant. And you wanna do the same thing to the back as you did in the front. Make sure that the amount that you slash and spread it is the same so that it is even on both sides. And yeah. Pretty simple, pretty quick flare pant tutorial. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what other videos you would like to see from me next in this series or just in general. And of course, subscribe for more if you're not already so you don't miss out on the next videos. And if you want to follow me on social media, I will have everything linked down below from my personal Instagram, TikTok, to my brand Instagram and TikTok, to my podcast, Instagram and TikTok and YouTube channel. 
all the things. And also, I recently launched a Patreon and would love for you guys to join in on it. I'm giving you guys a bunch of exclusive content and a lot more resources and just being able to kind of talk to you guys a little bit more one-on-one. -on -one. Whether you want to learn more about sewing and fashion design in general or if you want to go into more businessy things, I kind of want to give you guys a community space to kind of learn from me, learn from each other, all that good stuff. So I will have that link down below as well if you want to join. And that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!